In this video, we are going to see management of a diabetic cataract. The patient is suffering from diabetes mellitus for the last 15 years. The cataract appears soft, but it is very much sticky. It is very difficult to hold this kind of cataracts and it is very difficult to divide the pieces, divide the cataract into fragments. Let us observe this surgery. After the main incision, the anterior capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye. This is a bit of adrenaline. The pupil has not dilated well. So, adrenaline may help in dilating the pupil. This is phenocaine which contains tropic, tropicamide and phenylephrine. And now the pupil has dilated quite well. 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is now used to fill up the anterior chamber. And now capsulorexis is done with the help of this utrita forceps. The capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size trexis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydrodissection was very much tricky. I could not pass a fluid wave from one side to the other side. This is second attempt. no fluid wave and now the side port was not made. So, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Again third attempt of hydrodissection no fluid wave goes from one side to the other side. Fourth attempt. As I touch the iris, the pupil starts coming down, starts becoming small. As I inject visco, the pupil dilates. Now I have a plan. I'm going to use this pre-chopper and make a crack in the nucleus. Yes, I have got a nice crack. And now I'm going to pass fluid through this crack. I'm going to do inside out hydrodissection. So go in the cleft and inject fluid through this cleft. Some more visco and I try to rotate the nucleus now and this time it rotates. After rotating 180 degree I separate the nucleus into two heminuclei. And now my plan is to hold each heminucleus, chop it into fragments and emulsify the pieces. I tried this pre-chopper, but this time the pre-chopper did not go to proper depth and I could not get the crack. So, my next plan is to try cracking, dividing the heminuclei into pieces by holding the pieces with vacuum and using the chopper. But see what happens. I 
cannot hold the nucleus. So, what I do is, I go to one end of the heminucleus, get it out of the capsular bag and emulsify this. And now, I inject some more visco. Go again with the FECO needle. Ultrasonic energy is 60 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Single handedly, I could get more followability and I could emulsify on heminucleus. Now, I rotate this heminucleus, place it in front cannot hold it nicely. I cannot divide the pieces completely. So, again I go to one end, bring one part of the equator out of the capsular bag, then tilt and start emulsifying bit by bit. So, this is a very leathery cataract, very sticky material does not tend to divide into pieces. This is a diabetic cataract. The lens fibers become very much sticky and very difficult to crack. So, pre chopper helps in such cases. The pre chopper I have used has been designed by Dr. Sohail Irfan Khan of Nandit, Maharashtra, India. A nice device for such cataracts. So, most of the lens matter has come out, little bit of cortex is there at around 1.30 o'clock. I am going to remove this with this 22 cause Simco cannula and done. The posterior capsule is clear, very little lens matter remaining almost clear posterior capsule, no fibers seen. Now, I fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag with 2 percent HPMC. Enlarge the main wound little bit. And now, a hydrophobic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. The leading haptic of the lens goes under the rexis margin and goes to the equator. The trailing haptic sticks to the optic in this case. The haptic optic junction has gone into the capsular, into the equator. With two hooks, the haptic is released from the optic and it goes to the equator. And then, visco is nicely cleaned from the capsular bag as well as anterior chamber. This is a 22 gauze Simco. And it has been used to flush out and aspirate most of the visco that was there in the capsular bag and the anterior chamber. And now, I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli to remove some more visco. 
visco cleanup should be thorough to avoid post of rise of intraocular pressure this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma the scleral aspect of the tunnel is hydrated and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is carried out a thorough clean up of the viscoelastic substance is necessary to avoid toxic anterior segment syndrome many a time it is due to retained viscoelastic substance so we must be very thorough in clean up in cleaning up of visco and then we form the anterior chamber nicely and conclude the case thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills since diabetic cataracts are very much sticky it is very difficult to hold such nuclei and it is very difficult to crack the nucleus into pieces the prechopper takes a major role in such cases